me show this up. King, wait, wrong button. There we go. Kenya in the building. All right. Kenya. Man, so Kenya, um, you 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 came into the uh she trucking trucking group because you wanted to vent. And uh I I peeped it out and I was like, huh, maybe uh maybe this is a good topic. Maybe I can uh get her on and chop it up with her. So I appreciate you very, very much for coming on to the show. Thank you, thank you. And uh, I appreciate you. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right, so let's start with your story, man. I'd like to hear how you got started in trucking, and how's your journey been so far? Oh, okay. So let's talk. Okay, so I actually started off as a CNA, and I have been a CNA for a really, really long time. I had my first daughter in my early twenties, and. In 2019, I was just like, I want to travel and I want to make money. So my family was very supportive. Like, yes, go ahead and chuck dry. It's, you know, a good way to make money. I had a plan. I said, I'm going to chuck dry for three years. Put my daughter on the truck with me. I'm going to get rid of all my bills. No rent, no utilities, just my phone bill and my daughter's tuition. That didn't happen. <laughs> Not even a little bit. So what ended up happening was I got on a truck for one company and they found out my daughter was on the truck and because she was not 10 yet, they literally made me stop where I was at and had to pull over and somebody had to meet me to come get my daughter off the truck. Mm. They literally made me, and I was in Rockford at that time. <laughs> it was hard trying to find somebody to come get my daughter. So I had to sit there and wait. And then the account that I had for that particular company was for, like, um, you have to unload the truck yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Assist. Yeah, like, you, those trucks are 53 feet long. So it was like those family dollar, dollar tree, uh, dollar general. That's what the account was. So I literally had to move dog food, water, canned goods, everything they sell in there. I'm taking those off the truck for each stop. All right. So, so let, it ended let up me, taking me a let me let me stop you right there. So so the the company that you the, the company that you drive for which is a what a mega carrier. So there's only a few mega carriers that have well just about all American carriers have mm -hmm. the uh the uh the dollar accounts. So which yeah. mega mit, which mega carrier you was driving for that had a particular dollar account? So at that time, I was driving for Warner Enterprise. All right. So let me ask you this. So before you got into trucking, uh, you said you was a CN, CNST, CNA, CNA. CNA. Mm -hmm. So you was a nurse. Yep. So how, how long you was a nurse for? Oh, my gosh. Um, about 10 years 10. in total. Okay. So... You say you got into trucking because you wanted to travel and you wanted to make money, pretty much. Yeah, and who, save. Actually, who, make save the money I'm making. Who kind of put that in your head? Because you you a CNA, <laughs> you you a nurse. Some somebody had to put that in your head. Like, yo, you want to make money? I know how to make. I know no. how you can make money, right? Somebody um, had to put that in your head. You know, it's funny because nobody actually put that in my head. I was actually researching how do I travel and make money because I've seen people doing like, um, what are they called? They're like the travel agents. They go different places and they make money that way. Mm -hmm. They have to check out the rooms, you know, like blogging almost. But it was so hard to try to get into that. Like you have to have so much for a startup just to try to be a travel agent. And I didn't have that type of money. So... I ran across a post and somebody was saying like truck drivers can make, you know, like a thousand dollars a week minimum and you get to live on the truck. I'm like, Ooh, mm. this looks Ooh, yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> that, that's that, that's that carrot that's dangling over the, oh, over mm -hmm. the, oh, over the rabbit. Yeah. You can, here yes. you go. Here you go. And as soon as your ass exactly. got in, as soon as your ass got into it, you was hit with reality, huh? 
Yeah. <laughs> and it was a harsh reality. <laughs> it was harsh. Because in school, they're like, yeah, take your kids. And I was like, all right, I'm going to take my daughter. Yeah, no, not all companies. They, they have age limits. Uh, King, <laughs> they rain made yeah. you. Yeah. They they, they rain did. made you. They they rain made. They you. did. Mm. Yeah. All right. So so how did you go about getting your license? So did you did you go through Roadmaster slash Warner, or did you have, or did you go to a, a school prior to going to Warner? So what I did was I went to Roadmaster's Warner, um, and at first they didn't want to take me because you have to have like good credit that's what they were telling me like, you have to have really great credit what and or pay out of pocket what yes wait a minute like they, financial they, aid, they, all they, do it, they doing it like that now you you gotta have good credit yes. to go to the, the for them you gotta have good credit you whoa have to get a loan. wait a minute or financial aid. whoa mm -hmm. wait a minute pump the brakes hold up you mean to tell me that that Roadmaster now, because it's owned by Warner, usually yes. Warner would, would pay for your pay license. Pay for you to go to school. For mm -hmm. you to go to school. So, yeah. so let me get this straight. Let, let me see if I understand this now. You had to, of course, you had to take out a loan. Once you take out a loan, after you fulfill that contract, or not, it's not even a contract because you're taking out a loan and you're paying for it yourself. But am I to understand that Warner will pay for it after the after the year's up, like a, a reimbursement type deal? So if you okay, if you end up going with Warner, mm -hmm. so Roadmaster Warner they do a pre hire. Okay. okay, right, right. In order to get into school, right. So I had to have somebody co sign for it, which was fine. They didn't mind. They gave you three companies to choose from. Okay. Or find a company yourself. So if you decide to go with Warner after you were pre-hired, you finish school, and you go through Warner, Warner will actually pay for it, and it's no cost to you. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. But if you don't stay with Warner long enough for them to pay for it, it's coming out of your pocket. So I, I understand that if you don't stay with Warner... Because of the, you know, because of the uh, financial, you know, financial agreement that you do sign, you are, mm -hmm. re you are responsible for that, uh, for, for the tuition, for the fee and all like right. that. You know, they, mm -hmm. they, they started doing that because a lot of guys that will come in, you know, they're, they're, they don't have to find, they don't have to, you know, uh, they didn't have to fill out a financial agreement they'll get their license right. and then they'll bounce. And then, you know, they mm -hmm. lose Warner with, you know, with the ticket. So they started, you know, not only them, but CR England, CRST, Swift, yep. and the rest Swift. of them, mm -hmm. you know, started the fact that you have to get, you know, financial, you know, you the financial stuff yourself. And then they'll reimburse you on the, on the, on the backup. But wow, though, they, right. but they, they came at you, like that so but yeah. you but you know fast forward you you was able to get your your license so you decided yeah. to go with warner so of course they they put you on the dollar account but let me ask you this did you did you know prior to you know like in in orientation or anything like that that you was going on the dollar account not in orientation they just presented Warner like this really great company, which it is. Don't I don't want to seem like I'm bashing them. However, don't worry about it. I'll help it was you. kind of persuade, <laughs> if that makes sense. They kind of persuaded. They told me that you know you pick it after after school. So once I got to Warner, I graduated, and Warner hired me. Mm -hmm. That's what they were pushing towards because they needed people for that account. Of I didn't realize did. how tedious it was. Oh yeah, oh yeah. See that's. Warner, Swift, U.S. Express, yeah, they they did. This is the carrot that they put over there. Hey, you want to get your workout? Yep. You want to get your workout on? Oh, uh, you could work out and you could work out and and get paid at the same time. You could get about a thousand. Right. What is it? About fifth? What about twelve, fifteen hundred a week? Yeah, you know? that's what. Well, that's what they tell you. That's not what you make. I promise you. Yeah, yeah, you can get that. You can get that. 
but then they 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 don't tell you you they they don't tell you that you're gonna work for that fifteen hundred. You're gonna work for no, that. They don't. Right. So you, but so you, did you did you knew that um that you could take well at one point did you did you knew that you could take your kid or that you couldn't take your kid because of the age? I didn't know at first. So okay. it was my first trucking company. Mm-hmm. I just put my daughter on the truck. And when I went to go see my dispatcher, she looked at my daughter and she was like, how old are you, sweetie? She was like, oh, I'm five. She was like, oh, that's so sweet. She waited until I was en route <laughs> to tell me to take my daughter off the truck. Wow. And I live in Arizona. I transferred to Indiana for that account. Okay. So getting my daughter off of the truck was really difficult because I didn't have anybody really to come and get her. Uh, now, where were you again for them to, because they actually made you stop the truck, like literally mm-hmm. stop, stop what you're doing and get your daughter off the truck. And yes, they said legally she cannot be on that truck. So let's just say, let's just say hypothetically speaking that let's just say, hey, um, it's going to be difficult for me to get my daughter off the truck because I really don't have nobody, you know, to watch my daughter. My daughter is, you know, my responsibility, yada, yada, yada. Uh, what if you would have explained that to him? What would have been the outcome if you couldn't find nobody to get her off the truck? So if I couldn't find anybody to come get her, they were going to have to order me a lift to take her back to Arizona, like a lift to an airport to take her back to Arizona. Wow. To be with my mom. So they 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 actually was going to make you park the truck at a truck stop to do that. I wasn't even at a truck stop. That's what makes it work. When they told me I had to stop right then and there, I actually pulled into like this huge empty parking lot, like a old abandoned parking lot. And they they wouldn't let you they they wouldn't let you go to a truck stop to to do that. Nope, they said I had to stop where I was at, mm-hmm. right where I was at. Wow! Like you need to find somewhere to stop right now. Legally, she cannot be on that truck. That's my dispatcher's exact words. Well, I mean, I mean, looking at it from the company's point of view, yeah, because of. The, because of the age, I think I think the age has to be like ten, you know. Um, but for them to make you like stop, like right then and there, you know, at least they could have at least had you to go to a to a secure truck stop. That that don't right. That, and that don't sound. I found out later that's what they should have done. Right. That that don't sound cool to me. I mean. You know, tr- I mean, trucking companies is trucking companies is underlying dirty. Period. I mean, you yeah. know, it's especially the mega carriers. You know, they 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 put up this front like, yo, we're the you know we're the best thing. You know, CR England, uh-huh. Swift, yep. uh, CRST. Now, there's been some good stories, and then there've been a whole bunch of horror stories, especially from yeah. CR England. Uh, you know, if you oh, yeah. once once mm-hmm. you you know once you 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 check out uh, the Lockout Man podcast and uh, and look at the playlist, the best conversation starts over here. Playlist and uh, and you you'll see a whole bunch of horror stories dealing with CR England. Uh, not yeah. not that many will warn her though. I mean, not that many will warn her, and not to say that, like you said, not to say that Warner isn't a bad company it's just that in in your situation it could have been handled a little bit better so right it, it so really far, could have so far. my daughter was only five right yeah so how long you had to it, it was hard how long how long you had to yeah you from arizona and where where oh. were you where were you where were you when you had to get your daughter off the truck I was in Indiana. Indiana. So Yeah, so I picked up the account for Indiana. They relocated me to Indiana. And at first it was fine, but 
you know, being away from my daughter, that was hard. Like having that anxiety. I literally did the one load and I asked them to relocate me somewhere else or back home or even on a different account. And she threw up the fact that, well, because we already relocated you now, they didn't pay me for the relocation, but we already relocated you. You would have to pay the money back huh? for relocation oh, before. Yes, that's what, Whoa, that's what she told me you, before you, we can just on a different account. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. What? Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. That's what she told me. Oh, okay. Hold up right quick. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. They relocate. So what What do you talk to me so I can understand? What do you mean by re relocating? What, 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 you, you lived in Arizona. Do you still live in Arizona? Yes, I'm currently in Arizona now. Okay, so you still, so you still, so what they mean by relocating you to Indiana? What, what was, so, what was that? They have different terminals. Okay, so Arizona has a terminal. Most states have terminals for major carriers, right? Uh, it's always. So Indiana has a terminal and then they have two terminals in uh, Illinois and one of them is Joliet. So my main terminal was Joliet okay. and I would go to like, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, and like Minnesota, you know, just surrounding areas right. to deliver for right. the dollar account. So they're saying because they gave me a rental car to drive from Arizona to Indiana, that was my relocation money, but it was just a car. Like I still had to pay for the gas. I still had to find a house. They didn't put me in a hotel. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't do any of that. They literally just paid for the car. Come on now. Yes. That, that, ain't no that, relo is that, that ain't no relocation. No. It's not. So, that's, that's what she told me, though. She said since we did all of that, like they did something major, that I would either have to finish out my contract for six months or just up and quit and she said if i quit i wouldn't be able to come back oh my god so so i quit I, oh my god oh my god so so I, so wait a minute so they call themselves relocating their 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 definition of relocating is giving you a car to to go to the location of where the where the uh where the account is at that's so right. they did they give you other other than uh, uh other than um other than other than that did they give you you say they didn't give you no hotel no 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 nothing no just just a just a rental car Yep, the rental for so from Arizona to Indiana where I picked up my truck. That's all they paid for. Wow. That that is some that's some And that was just Warner. Like I've been with a few different companies and honestly this last company, the one I had posted about, that was kind of just the last straw. <sighs> that was just Warner. Wow. Back in 2019. So, okay, okay, okay. So, Warner, you know, like like I said, uh like I said, they 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 didn't they they didn't uh they they didn't do you right. I mean, from the sounds of it. I mean, they just mm -hmm. they they made you stop right then and there to to get your door. How long you had to wait for your daughter to for somebody to come and get your daughter? And um, it took them almost five hours to come get her. Five to six hours. All right. See, all right, Kenya. I'm I'm going to tell you. I I've been in this game for six years. I mean, I'm 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 not a good. You know, I, I'm I'm not here to say that I'm that guy, which I'm not. But just from conversations from you know hundreds of people that I have talked to so far including my own experience with with the mega carriers 
don't put all your eggs in a bunch, especially with and this with 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 